Patrick McCarthy, a maths tutor. I'm going to show you how to do inverse proportion. Okay, inverse proportion basically means one thing goes up as another goes down, or vice versa, one thing goes down as another goes up. So I'm going to use an example, but first I'll write some letters. So we'll start with X. Now X, this represents the number of sales of coats, winter jackets for instance, okay? Now, the letter, the symbol used for proportional is this one. So we said that X is proportional to something. Now we want inverse proportion, i.e. we want, as this one goes up, we want the other one to go down. So the way we express that is that's one over Y, rather than X is proportional to Y, we have X is proportional to one over Y. This is inverse proportion. So if X represents the number of winter jackets I'm selling, this Y, this represents the temperature. So as you can think about it, as the temperature goes up, the number of, number of winter jackets sold goes down. As the temperature goes down, the number of winter jackets goes up. Well, that is what the inverse proportion does. Now this symbol isn't that useful to us, so what we tend to do is use an equal symbol instead, and we use what's called constant of proportionality there, K over Y. Rather than 1 over Y, we have K over Y. So if I was to do some surveys and found that as the temperature goes up from say 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, uh, the, the sales of jackets go from 50 a week to uh, 25 a week to 15 a week. I might come out with a I put in, let's say, 50 here for the number of jackets I sell. It was K over my temperature. I would find my K is 500. Um, this isn't exactly right, but roughly right. So, what I find is my K is 500. So, what I actually find then is I can use this formula. Change that to 500. So, what I can do is as Y goes up, i.e. as the temperature goes up, I put it into my formula here and I work out what I'm projected to selling number of terms of coats. Um, as I can also say, right, if I want to sell 50 coats, the temperature needs to be below, say, 10 degrees. Um, and that's how we use purport, uh, inverse proportionality. By using the one over here, this creates, as one goes up, the other goes down. And that's how to do inverse proportions.